Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, so that you may be revered. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope my soul waits for the Lord, more than those who watch for the morning, more than those who watch for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is great power to redeem. It is he who will redeem Israel from all his iniquities. persuade men but what we are is known to God and I hope it is also known to your conscience we are not commending ourselves to you again but giving you cause to be proud of us so that you may be able to answer those who pride themselves on a man's position and not on his heart for if we are beside ourselves it is for God if we are in our right mind it is for you for the love of Christ controls us because we are convinced that one has died for all Therefore, all have died. And he died for all that those who live might live no longer for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. From now on, therefore, we regard no one from a human point of view. Even though we once regarded Christ from a human point of view, we regard him thus no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, new has come, all this from God. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Sister Thelma Jean slept away peacefully during the night with her loving family close by. I won't use my two minutes here to tell you everything that Sister Thelma did at Merrill, if the list would be too extensive. Suffice it to say, she served on just about every Merrill ministry there was in this church. She worked in her church faithfully and with humility. She gave generously of her gifts, her graces, her time, and her talent. She understood the value of salvation and served her God cheerfully. She was honest, patient, generous of spirit. She had strong morals. She was one of our pioneers here. Just about everybody has a story to tell about our sister Thelma. The men wanted to start a United Methodist Men group. Sister Thelma and a group of ladies came in encouraging, supporting, and helping them to get that off the ground. When she knew that our father was preparing a place for her in heaven, she began to prepare. She laid out to family, to friends, to everyone just what she wanted. This is our sister Thelma. Our dear Thelma Royce was truly one in Christ. She's gone on to her heavenly home. Recently, the, the church decided to recognize past leaders and committee members and uh, other members who have, who have made value contribution to this church. Um, unfortunately, Thelma was one of those uh, leaders um, uh, decided on, but she Unfortunately, she passed away before we were able to do the, uh, the activities. At this time, we're going to ask, um, ask Norma and George Alan to come. Merrill United Methodist Women, a resolution of respect to Sister Thelma Jean Royce. Very truly, I tell you, you will weep and mourn you will have pain, but your pain will turn into joy. We, the members of Merrill United Methodist Women, want the family to know 
that our hearts are with you as we gather to bid a Christian goodbye to a wonderful wife, mother, sister, aunt, sister-in-law, and friend. Whereas Sister Thelma professed hope in Christ and accepted her role as a United Methodist woman treasurer, membership chair, and a tremendous leader with a commitment of her talent, time, and energy. And whereas our sister was very thoughtful, was a very thoughtful person who encouraged new members to be committed, be dedicated to United Methodist Women, and work tirelessly to perform any task requested of her within our unit and the church. Whereas our dear sister Thelma always kept Maryland United Methodist Women informed on how our funds are allotted to assist women, children, and youth. To the family, we know your loss is deep and your sorrow is great. We share your sorrow too. But more importantly, we recognize that Thelma's life was a gift to us and that the Lord has accepted into his presence a good and faithful servant. Humbly submitted on this 22nd day of March, 2014, the officers of Maryland United Methodist Women, Lauderdale Lakes, Florida. And to let you know that a copy of this resolution is being kept in the church archives. Good morning. Good morning. God is good? All the time. All the time. My name is Winston Plummer, and on behalf of J.P. Morgan Chase Bank at the Lauderdale Lakes Branch, I would love to talk to the family for a minute and say our deepest sympathy and condolences to you. I know that Miss Jean has been a tremendous asset to our branch over the last 18 years. 18 years she gave her time and her talent to J.P. Morgan Chase. I am and was her manager. I joined J.P. Morgan Chase little under two years and of course I met this wonderful human being and believe it or not when I entered the bank one morning she pulled me aside and she said to me Mr. Plummer, everything will be all right. And one word she said to me that I will always cherish. She said, no, let no one steal your joy. That resonated with me until now. Miss Jean was a dedicated employee. She loved her work. She was a mentor to several of her employees and her peers. She was revered and loved by everyone, including her customers. Some of you may be here today. Her peers are sitting in the congregation today. Ladies and gentlemen, it is said by theorists and social scientists that there are two types of people in this world, ordinary and extraordinary. And guess where Miss Jean falls? An extraordinary human being. I can recall that she is the first to arrive to work, never late, a model employee. Always there, always giving advice, and always be positive. Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And that's what Miss Jean has done on February 23rd. So my brothers and sisters, God bless all of you, and thank you for this opportunity to be here today. I've been blessed to have been a close and personal friend of Thelma Jean Royce. I recall yes, like yesterday, how Thelma and I came to meet many years ago. It was at a time I was fairly new in this area, and I was at a crossroad in my life, either to return to Jamaica or permanently join my family here in the state. 
one day a friend notified me of a job opening in Lauder Hill area. So I went to apply. A few days later, they called me back for orientation with the manager. About an hour later, I was called to the front office. There I met Talba. She, would, she verified my driver's license. Once she saw my last name, she smiled. Next day on the job, I saw Talba. She asked me if I knew Judge Aston. That sparked a conversation of her inquiring in my career in the police force. Telma took me under the wings. Telma gave me a ride home from work one day. It's funny, I was telling her where to go, and she drove past my house to the apartments. When I said turn around and pointed to the house, Telma said, then frankly, how you say you just come to the come and have a house? Mind you know, I laugh, I explain. Shortly after that, I came to meet her husband, Royce, at her home, who greeted me with a giddies. <laughs> Later on, I met her sister, Norma, and other members of the family. When I came to Merrill for the first time, Telma and her husband were the two people I knew. Here at Merrill, she encouraged me to be a part of the church and an active member. As we work side by side on various committees of the church, our friendship grow even closer and stronger. We could always agree to disagree and move on. When, the first, when, we, when she first took sick, Pastor called her up to the altar for prayer. We gather all around her to pray. And all of a sudden, tell me, take the pastor robe, put it on, and said, pray now. <laughs> Two weeks before her passing, I went to her home. Telma was relaxing on the couch. After another visit from the doctor, Telma began to say she was living out her last days. I felt her sincerity in what she was saying that I tried to change her, the subject. So she would not see the tears in the love in my eyes. Even then, Telma was still being Telma. Telma uh, <coughs> offered me some pea soup. Uh, Telma will always be one of the nicest, helpful, and friendliest person I've ever known in my life. Our friendship will, uh, will be forever in my heart, a blessing to my life, and her presence will always be missed from my family and, and I. May our soul forever rest in God's peace and loving arms. When we family. As we embrace the expansive legacy of this remarkable woman, may we propose that her passing evokes the words of Paul, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for her a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give her on that day. Sister Jean were the building blocks of character. She births potentials and molds greatness. Her influence shaped the world as she nurtured and instructed her family who grew up to be responsible and productive citizens. Who will take her place? She knew how to make a point between extremes and opposites, and she knew how to keep a good thing from becoming an obsession. Her family church and friends were first priority. Who will take her place? 
to make sure that the family stays together, to make sure all plans and preparations are in place for the Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner. <laughs> Who will take her place? She would make sure she called Canada, Jamaica, and elsewhere to find out if everyone was okay, to resolve a family dispute and make sure things are back to normal. Who will take her place? Always willing to give a helping hand when things get tough. Who will take her place? She was inspirational in planning weddings, graduations, funerals, or even a Friday evening hangout and make sure everyone was fed. Who will take her place? To make, to bake those delicious macaroni pie, delicious rice and peas, and spicy curry goat. Oh boy, my mouth is just running water. <laughs> Her favorite quote, me not worry about nothing. <laughs> Silently and peacefully, she was carried away safely into the beautiful mansion, safe in the arms of God. May her soul rest in peace and light perpetual shine upon her.